the next kind of mechanism is absorption of oxygen. This is a kind of mechanism where the oxygen will be absorbed. And this mechanism is seen mostly in the neutral medium. Neutral medium, even the alkaline medium, if the surrounding environment has the alkaline medium, it will goes with this absorption of oxygen. And another condition should be here is the oxygen should be there in the surrounding environment. If either oxygen is absent or pure water is present, the corrosion will not occur or even the plenty of oxygen is present and water is not there, even then the corrosion will not occur. Because when iron gets oxidized, it will give rise to Fe2 plus ions. And those Fe2 plus ions are to be utilized by any sort of anion, like in this case OH minus. If OH minus ions are not formed, the Fe2 plus production will be stopped. That means ultimately the corrosion is stopped. So either we have to maintain the oxygen free environment or moisture free environment to avoid the corrosion. So let's see this what happens in this case of absorption of oxygen. In this kind of corrosion, the iron will get oxidized to form Fe2 plus plus 2 electrons and we can consider it as anode and at cathode the water is utilized along with the oxygen and along with the two electrons and thus it forms the OH minus ions. Yeah, this is four electrons and four OH minus are formed. So clearly the OH minus ions are formed at cathode itself. Okay, so the Fe2 plus thus formed will travel through the surrounding environment like in the water and then it will reach to the OH minus to combine to form the rust. You can observe here. Same procedure, Fe2 plus plus OH minus 2 OH minus will give rise to FeOH taken twice or ferrous oxide and further oxidation of ferrous oxide will give rise to FeOH taken thrice and that is what the Fe2O3 3H2O that is the rust formula. Pictorially we can represent this and it will go like this. Let's take this is the metal surface and this is the surrounding environment which is causing the corrosion and the area here would be the anodic area. Remember in case of absorption of oxygen type of mechanism the anode will be smaller and all the other surrounding area is cathode. This surrounding area the, the brown color will be the cathodic area. Cathodic area will be large. So this reaction is formed at anode and it will try to go to the surrounding areas. Okay and in that surrounding area Fe2 plus ions will be taken by OH minus ions because these OH minus ions are formed in surrounding areas of the water. And this Fe2 plus ions will take this OH minus ions and the corrosion product will be formed. So here we try to understand the cathode will be large and the anode will be small. So the rate of corrosion in this case of absorption of oxygen will be very much high because of the larger cathodic area. Because of the presence of larger cathodic area, the cathode will seek the electrons more and more from anode. So the anode will start corroding, it will corrode very spontaneously if it will give off the Fe2 plus ions to the cathode. Larger cathodic area, smaller anodic area, the rate of corrosion will be very much high. This is the absorption of oxygen mechanism of yeah, wet and electrochemical corrosion of iron, what we explain now. Yeah, thank you.